Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. Today's video I'm so excited to be sharing with you all exactly how to blend your fragrances at home yes guys it's too often that I see people struggling with understanding the basis upon blending fragrances so I thought what better way to help you guys move onward and upward and get that coin than to create a step-by-step -step tutorial on a specific hack that I learned as well as go over some tips that help me when I'm deciding on which fragrances pair well together so definitely stay tuned for the video and if you do like videos like this please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, so for this tutorial, all you'll need is some rubbing alcohol. I recommend putting it in a spray bottle, not having a gulp of alcohol spill into you know a cup or something like that. You just wanna miss, link it down below. I got it off Amazon a while ago and there's alcohol, rubbing alcohol in here. We're also going to need some paper towels. The secret weapon for our fragrance blending tutorial today is Q-tips. I've been seeing so many videos of people testing uh, mixing fragrance oils with fragrance blotting strips and going all out, getting the professional stuff. But honestly, you could get the same effect. Definitely grab some Q-tips for this, or if you already have them, just go get them out the cabinet, girl. And then the next thing you're gonna need is a jar. So it is recommended to use like a glass jar with a, a twist off top. For me personally, I don't have any glass jars. It's not really something I've purchased ever in my life. So instead of that, I'm using a very mini Nutribullet blending bottle here with a twist off top. As long as you have a twist off top, it's super important for it to be completely secured. That way it can absorb all of those fragrances. And the last but most important thing that you'll need is a notebook. Very important for you to take notes as you are fragrance testing. The more that you account for, the more you're able to reassess and adjust your recipes and create greatness. So yes, guys, let's just jump right into it. But before we start our fragrance test, I'd love to share with you guys some specific tips that I learned within my process uh, to help you get started. So initially, when you begin with fragrance oils, it's like this huge spectrum. You could go from floral to sweet to fragrant to cologne, I mean, to decadent food items the list goes on and on it can be a bit intimidating to be transparent because you're thinking like wow I have no idea how I'm gonna do this you know like what if I make a scent and it stinks everybody hates it I make no money I lose all my money I die I'm sitting on the side of the street crying you can go there you can go there but you know just calm down take yourself off the ledge relax enjoy the video this video will get you there quickly okay we'll get you to the right direction okay period so the number one tip is to start with scents that you're already familiar with. If you're like me, you begin making candles because you have a passion for a strong home scent and you love the way certain scents pair together. So take a step back and remember those scents that you fell in love with. For me personally, that'd be lavenders, vanillas, all of those warm scents definitely stuck out to me and made me want to begin making candles. So it's important to take a step back and identify scents that you're familiar with to begin. Focus on staple scents within each uh, spectrum so if you want to go for a blend it's important to keep it very very simple so a great example being vanilla another recommendation in terms of simple scents would be sandalwood okay so my idea is to blend two scents it is recommended when you are blending fragrances to start simple and to just focus on two scents and then as you get more familiar with what scents pair well together you could even incorporate three or four and then you really really have a custom fragrance so just in terms of that i wanted to focus on pisces being the sandalwood and gardenia tuberose tuberose i found out has so many different properties in terms of jasmine orange blossom neroli frangipani gardenia magnolia and lily so these are more of a feminine scent, so I think that it will pair well with this masculine sandalwood just in terms of calming it down and having it be more of a unisex candle. So yes, I hope these two work best together, but the only way we're gonna find that out is through testing. So as I mentioned before, we're gonna be doing the 
q-tip method i've already tested a, an amazing set it, had, it went phenomenally guys if you haven't seen my last vlog i would say click this right here to take you straight to it in that video i did do a fragrance oil testing that included gin and cypress as well as lavender vanilla initially those two scents i thought were going to be perfect but gin and cypress is way too strong so i had to incorporate very vanilla to offset that gin and cypress and it oh my god it was beautiful like, it smells so good i cannot get over these candles like these are the Aquarius candles that I created oh my god it's just the very vanilla is doing it y'all definitely stay tuned for Black Friday the Zodiac collection will be out on sinsdivision.com but yes yes y'all let's just go ahead and wipe out the jar if you have a, a glass jar it is recommended so just wipe it out with a uh, paper towel and alcohol so I would recommend just putting the alcohol directly into the jar you know just one spray it's not crazy and then you just take your paper towel and clean that out thoroughly make sure you get in all the ridges make sure it's definitely no sense you won't get no confusion no problems zero problems okay so for me basically what i like to do with fragrance testing is to make sure i have a plan a and plan b my plan a is sandalwood gardenia and tuberose if this goes left we're going to throw some very vanilla in there because very vanilla from candle science is a calming balancing scent but it is also very distinctive so you're still going to get that stronger hot throw with very vanilla and it just makes the scent smell better to me and i'm just i'm leveled out so we're going to definitely try that now um in terms of the steps all you need to do is grab one q-tip per fragrance so for sandalwood we're just going to lightly dip it in there you don't want to saturate it and you know waste fragrance just lightly dip it you see what i'm saying like a little bit just a little bit Oh, it smells so good it definitely reminds me of this amber glow from bath and body works comment below if you've tried that already but after that if you dip it you just put it in your jar and then we're going to do the same thing with gardenia two bros two bros uh light dip oh, oh my god it smells so good Woo, gardenia two bros is like the jasmine Mm, ozone heaven it's just heaven put it in there period so the secret behind um your testing is that you're not just going to put those two scents together and bring them to your nose immediately you want to let them marinate in that jar for about five minutes yes guys five minutes so the reason why you are tightly closing your jar is because you want to make sure all of the fragrance is encapsulated in one and it is all blending together so you get an accurate depiction of what these two scents will smell like together now you won't get an accurate depiction of how much you should do of each but that's another video we can focus on percentages later the focus for this video is to win with fragrances that balance out each other so yes y'all i will check in with y'all in about five minutes Okay guys, so it has been about five to seven minutes. You know, I've just been watching YouTube videos, but let's go ahead and see what these two scents smell like together. So as I mentioned before, this is sandalwood, gardenia, and tuberose. So I'm just gonna open this up. And I just like to smell it as is without grabbing two, the Q-tips first. This is crazy, wow. So it smells really, really good. Like sandalwood is definitely one of the top scents that you should blend with others just because it's not gonna overpower the other scent but instead enhance it. So I smell primarily gardenia tube rose but I can smell the undernotes of sandalwood. Wow, this is crazy y'all. Okay, so definitely going with this and I would just use more of the gardenia than the sandalwood it's so good y'all it smells so good i'm so excited okay that's crazy all right so extremely pleased but you know to choose violence let's go ahead and dip very vanilla in here to see what that would smell like just so you could see um three scents together so what i do oh my god i just opened the cap and it's just it's vanilla hang <laughs> but what i do to test multiple fragrances more than two is just leave those in there and then you just go ahead and dip 
well since i'm using a big bottle and you can see it's like a little bit i just try to put a little on the cap um but yeah then i'm just gonna dip this uh, in here and and i'm just gonna close it up and wait another 10 minutes okay guys so it's been about another 10 minutes actually i made sure this is marinated <laughs> so let's see what they smell like together okay we're gonna have to stick with just the sandalwood and gardenia because somehow adding in very vanilla makes it smell like banana and we don't want a banana like i don't know how but no, yeah, these two together are valid. But it's important to do this, understand whether or not fragrances work well together without wasting a lot of fragrance. So yeah, I'll definitely link a few of the sites that I use to guess, to identify which scents pair well together and which simple scents you should focus on. And I hope this video was helpful. Um, if it was, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out anything else that I post. All right, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just living your purpose and love life. Okay, bye. bye.